Hey y'all, what's going on? It's me, Kevin, with Fit Man Cook. Well, the summer is finally coming to an end here in the U.S., and the Labor Day holiday has just passed. So that can only mean one thing. School is officially back in session. So whether you're going back to high school or you're leaving to go off to college, it doesn't mean you have to abandon all your healthy food choices. And not having a full kitchen like this shouldn't stop you either. So today we are going to hack the college dorm room and I'm going to show you how to turn your microwave into a five-star kitchen with four easy recipes. Be sure that you click the link below to check out fitfincook.com to get all the recipes and info from this video. And at the end of the video, I'm going to ask you to share at least one creative recipe to help people have a great school year. So you could say this is a different type of video, I guess, because I'm only going to be using the microwave. But if you're in college or just scared of cooking in general and you like this video, then let me know. I want you to comment below, share it out with some friends and family, and then what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll put together a formal plan for all you college students so that you can win at school and then win in your diets. All right, let's get started. So meal one is a turkey bacon and veggie breakfast frittata um, to start your day off right. I like this recipe because it's really simple to make and it's especially good if you tend to sleep in and miss breakfast in the cafeteria. Grab a cheap ramekin or baking dish from a discount store, then chop up some turkey bacon and heat this for a minute and a half. Then add fresh veggies of your choice, then pour in the eggs, mix it up and top it off with a little mozzarella. Then cover and cook for two and a half to three minutes. Enjoy this with some fresh oatmeal and you're good to go. Meal number two is this banging chicken meatloaf packed with some feta and spinach topped with chunky marinara. What I love about this recipe is that you can prep multiple um, versions of this at one time so you can have food prepped and ready to go throughout the entire week. In a bowl, mix ground chicken or ground meat, oatmeal, onions and bell peppers, and one egg white. Then add in some seasoning like chipotle, your feta, and your chopped spinach. Place this in a baking ramekin. Cover and cook for five to six minutes. Then top this off with some warm chunky marinara, cilantro, and feta. Meal three is one of my personal favorites, chicken and savory quinoa. If you grow tired of eating brown rice or even um, some oatmeal, quinoa is a great add, it's a great complex carb, and it's high in protein. And when you toss in a rotisserie chicken, you got yourself a muscle building meal for the entire week. Add about a half cup of quinoa to a bowl, then pour in one and a half cup of low sodium chicken broth, then toss in some red onions, cover and cook for three minutes, then stir. Cover and cook for another three minutes, then stir, and then cook for a final two to three minutes. Remove the skin from a rotisserie chicken and chop up the meat. Add chicken to the quinoa and top it off with some green onions. And meal number four is this awesome orange glazed salmon. I love this meal for two reasons. The first one is this. If you're an aspiring bodybuilder or model or athlete, then salmon is a great fatty protein to add to your diet um, if you can afford to have it regularly. And the second reason is salmon makes for a perfect cheap date night meal. And I guarantee you that if you make this recipe, you will become an instant hero, instant stud, guaranteed. In a bowl, mix orange marmalade, Dijon mustard, some coconut sugar, and juice from half of an orange or clementine. Stir it up. Rub this on the salmon. And cook for three to four minutes until the salmon is flaky. And 
Enjoy this with a small side salad and your own choice of complex carb. Oh, hold on. So one quick note on salmon. Depending on the type of salmon that you purchase, it can be a little fragrant. So my advice is this. If you're making this for meal prep, don't be that person that gets up at 6 and 7 a.m. to prep your salmon for the entire day and you got the whole dorm room smelling like a fish market. And if you get caught, don't tell them, well, Fit Man Cook said, I'm supposed to eat it every single day. Yeah, I said that, but I ain't say get up at 7 a.m. to make it, all right? You go back at lunchtime and you make that when people are usually gone. All right, so those are just four easy recipes that you can make using just your microwave. But now it's your turn. I want you to share at least one budget-friendly recipe below in the comment section for all the college students. Now hear me out. College is one of the best times of your life. You will make great friends and have great memories. Don't spend it having anxiety and worrying about what to eat. I want you to eat fearlessly, yet wisely. Eating in moderation and making healthy, broad food choices. As always, thank y'all for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting. Keep it healthy, but never boring.